Hello everyone, Dr. Maiden here. So I've been doing a couple of videos uh, in the past couple weeks focusing on the PhD, the PhD experience, and they've been very popular, right? Uh, hello, uh, YouTube verse of people that are really wanting information about PhD programs. Um, a couple of people have asked questions in the comments of some of those videos, and that's great. Keep asking those questions. If there is content that I can turn into a video for you, I'm going to do that. So today here is one that someone asked. They were asking just kind of the simple question of if I am entering a PhD program and I've already done a master's program or a JD or something like that, how do I transfer credits over or should I transfer credits over? So that's what we're going to address today. Okay, so the transferring of credits. You're starting your PhD program. Maybe you came in off of an MA and you're considering transferring credits over. The first question you need to ask is, will your department allow this? It may not, okay? So the first question before you even consider what should I do, how many should I do, blah, 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 you even need to know if it's possible. So talk to uh, whether you have like a doctoral advisor, um, like DGS, uh, DDS, um, whatever the acronym is at your program, talk to them, ask them, can I transfer any credits over? And they might have specific things in place already where they'll say, yeah, you can do up to nine. They'll only count as electives, blah, 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 blah. They might have a plan in place. Get that information. So let's assume they say, yes, you can do up to nine credits, whatever you want. They'll transfer over. You need to be thinking about a couple of things. So the first thing I would say is what specific classes are you sitting there feeling like I don't want to take again? And is there a reason you're sitting there feeling like I don't want to take them again? So if it's just something like, Ugh, it's just, it was an elective, I took this master's elective, it's fine, they're saying that they're gonna count it as an elective here, I'll just clear up that space. That's fine, you know? Uh, if it's electives that you're just wanting to get out of the way, move those over. I would caution you about moving over any classes that are core to your program. So I'm gonna give you an example. I was first field comparative politics. I had already taken a comparative politics class in my master's program. I could have transferred that comparative politics class over if I wanted to. But for me, the feeling was I wanted to take the foundational comparative politics class at this university with this professor that is renowned in the field. He has literally written the books on comparative politics methods and theory. He assigned those books to us for this class, right? And the fact that I knew I would be taking a comprehensive exam that would be using this class as its foundation. I talked to other students that had already completed this class and they were like, oh my gosh, take this class. It will give you literally all the prep you need to pass your comp exam. He even had as one of the only assignments for the whole semester, we had a midterm practice comp exam and we had a final practice comp exam. So for me, it was just this no brainer of like, yeah, I could transfer over my comparative politics class, but that would be stupid, right? Take it over, take it over. If you know that the class that you're going to take over is so foundational to your program and will prepare you so well to do something like pass your comp exams, don't be stupid, take it over, right? Obviously. Now, I did, uh, the way that my program was set up, I, I was a dual program, uh, political science, peace studies. So I, was, I had my two fields in political science, peace studies was its own whole field. And so what they did to kind of give me a break is I only did a comp exam in one of my political science programs and the other one was peace studies. So for international relations, I had to take all the classes. I didn't have to take the comp. So I had already taken intro to international relations. And for me, the situation was I was pregnant and soon expecting my baby. Uh, I was exhausted. I was looking at all of these things of like, oh my gosh, am I gonna have to be bringing my breastfeeding toddler to this class? Am I gonna have to be, you know, so it was, for me, it made the most sense of cut and run. I don't have to take the exam. I've already taken this class. 
I did end up asking the professor that taught teaches the exam, I asked for the syllabus. So if nothing else, as I move forward and I think about planning my own classes, just having a nice uh, syllabus that has a list of readings that I can use in my own teaching now, I asked for the syllabus, I skipped the class, okay? So you just have to think strategically like that as to what are the benefits or the possible trade-offs of transferring the credits in. If you can transfer them and it frees up your schedule to either not take classes or take more interesting, cooler classes that interest you, do it, right? So pretty short video, right? First one is just make sure it can be done. And second one is to just think very strategically about what classes do you want to transfer over and why? And is it worth it given what you're going to be expected to do in your program, the hoops they'll make you jump through, okay? I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any other questions about transferring credits.